Hey everyone, Drew from Monkey's Tropicals Adventures here to do another shave and shave review on What Smells Good to Me. <laughs> Alright, so what are we going to talk about? Well, first of all, let's make sure we have no lint in our hair like we do in some of our videos. Dear God. Alright, today we're going to talk about Cooper & French. This is a new company. Um, they sent me out this along with uh, all of these. So it's going to be a Cooper & French Shave Fest for the next month or so. There's going to be a lot of videos coming out. So this is a tallow based uh, shave soap that comes in a five ounce container here and they are out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. And the name Chain of Lakes is in honor of um, Chain of Lakes Regional Park, which has five lakes and it's on 1500 acres, I believe, and lots of hiking trails and just beautiful for the community. So it's in honor of that. And it is a woodsy leather musk and tonka bean uh, scented shave soap. And then I've got the aftershave balm. So we're gonna try this out. That's what it looks like. It smells pretty good. Let's see what happens when we get some water in there. So that's what we're gonna be using. That's gonna be the star of today's video. We're gonna get our beard nice and ready with some of this Crown Supreme Glide. Good stuff. We're gonna be using our tried and true wet shaving products, El Grande razor, safety razor, Parker blades, this great high mountain badger brush by Sterling Soap. This thing's awesome. That's it folks, all done, no. Let's get going, let's get shaving, let's get some Supreme Glide on and uh... Cue the music. Okay, so this was, I guess this, show, this soap was uh, Help Us Decide Winner at the Big Shave West in 2019. So this was part of that whole thing that went down at the Big Shave West. I went, let's whip up some shave soap and see how this uh, bad boy works out. Cue the music. That made some serious, rich, creamy lather, no problem. And I, I just dipped my brush in a little bit of warm water, like so it wasn't soaking. But that is, that is a nice, nice lather. Um, as far as the scent, uh, it is pretty light. Um, it's not a very strong scent. I'm not getting a ton, but I am getting the leather, and the leather smells more like, almost like a pelt before it's been treated. That's kind of the leather note that I'm getting, if that makes any sense. Um, all right, let's, let's see how this works out. Cue the music. to just stop right now and base the shave just based on the shave soap alone I would give that cushion a 9 I give the slickness about an 8.5 but unfortunately I would give the fragrance note about a 7 it's not that it does it doesn't not smell good it's just I would I would like a stronger fragrance but I haven't put on the aftershave yet so that's just based on just the shave soap but my skin feels really, really great. And that cushion, I mean, the lather is so rich. I mean, it's it's dense and rich. And my cat is talking to me in this video. I was shooting a video earlier today, 
and my other cat was meowing the whole time. Awesome. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna do another pass, but so far I'm, I'm truly liking this, sh I endorse this soap. This is a Holy Monkey's endorsement. This is good stuff. All right, let's go. Cue the music. <laughs> Another nice, rich lather. Folks, just remember when you're watching reviews, even mine, just because I tell you something doesn't mean you shouldn't buy it just because I'm saying that the fragrance isn't where I want it. It's still a badass soap. It's got awesome slickness and awesome cushion, so. Shut up, monkey man. All right. <laughs> Last pass. <laughs> Cure music. Nice cushion, nice slickness. I mean, it, it's just a beautiful soap as far as performance. I just want a little bit stronger fragrance, that's all. But let's try this out. Maybe it's in here. I don't even need the, the alum. My skin feels so good right now. Man, okay, here we go. And there it is. Oh God, that smells good. Okay. Okay, for sure. Got the musk, the tonka bean, some nice woody notes. I even pick up maybe a little bit of citrus, I'm not sure. All those notes are in here. So I've said it before, shave soaps, it's kind of hard to get the full fragrance notes to pop in a shave soap. Some, sometimes you can do it, sometimes you can't. So don't ding a soap just because it doesn't. So that's why I'm, not, I'm saying that soap is a good soap. It's all in here. And look, man, that stuff just rubbed right in. So that's another thing too, shave balm. Shave balm, if it's still all over your face, then I don't want to use it, but this just absorbed right into my skin. It doesn't feel greasy, it feels really nice. And the fragrance is light, but it's definitely, I can definitely smell it. So I can smell everything that I wanted to in the soap. I can smell it in here. So, overall, uh, this is a very, very solid company. I heard good things. People were messaging me um, when I posted up that I was gonna be trying some of these and they said, man, it's, it's some good stuff. So, I agree 100%. I'm really looking forward to the other uh, shave soaps. So, this is Cooper and French Chain of Lakes. I wanna thank you guys for sending these to me. Excellent job. Not like you need me to tell you how to do your job, but obviously you did a great job and you know it. So anyways, you guys stay tuned. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Monkey's Tropicals Adventures. Follow me on YouTube at Monkey Man. I'm doing my videos now on both platforms. So follow me on both. Please follow Chain of Lakes, uh, Chain of Lakes, Cooper and French and try Chain of Lakes. Um, as well as all their other soaps, which I think I have like 30 of them that I'll be doing. So I'll see you soon for another shave review. Take care.